Hey guys, what's going on? One of is here and today I will be showing you guys a great place to train your combat levels. If you're low level, it doesn't matter much because basically all you need to do is kill these monks that I will be showing you later on. And they have only like 880 life points, so if you can kill a monster that has that low life points, I think you'll be just fine. So basically grab the best gear you can get and the best weapon you can carry. I would suggest you to use dry gores or chaotics or dragon weapons or whatever you feel is right for you. Of course mage and range styles works there just fine and it's the same experience per hour. So stop alching longbows and get your butts down there. If you're wondering how to get there just follow my lead from the grand exchange and if you have 90 plus prayer I would strongly suggest you to grab the Mount Horn necklace from that engineering and a bone pressure as well. That way you won't be needing any prior pots with you. If you're low level don't worry you'll get a great experience down there just make sure you grab some food plus prayer potions just in case you have a bad defense level. Because they are aggressive down there but they don't hit you that hard so yeah. Once you're there, you start attacking these Dagon High Monks. They have 880 life points, weaknesses, crush weapons, and they attack you with mage spells. To me, these spells are one hit KO, that's why I would suggest you to bring the best weapon you can, so you can kill them easy, maybe even without using abilities. And if you're killing them really fast, you can as well kill some Zamorak warriors while you're waiting for the mages to respawn. Now instead of killing them for one whole hour, I did simple math, so one overload is 5 minutes and the experience I got in that time was 13.5k. So one hour has 12 overload doses, meaning 13.5k times 12 equals 162k attack experience per hour, which is a really great experience, I think. And of course I did the same thing with mage and range, though maybe maging or ranging is a bit faster experience per hour, but it's not that big difference at all. Now I'm not saying that this is the best place to train, or maybe it is, I'm not sure, because after Evolution of Combat came out there's a lot of things that I still don't know, and since I'm maxed on combat, I don't really train it anymore, so there might be a better place for you to train, I'm just saying. But one thing I know that people with low level of combat should go here and train their combat levels, because it's a great place with a great experience. Well guys that's all for today, thank you for watching, I hope it was helpful and if any of you are going to try this, I would like to hear what experience per hour you are getting down there. So leave a comment or not, it's up to you. Thanks again and I will see you in few days, goodbye.